Hello everyone, welcome to another video and today I want to show you two different things on which I did play regarding the change of material and I did start with request that a lot of different materials and if I want to change for example this ladder to something else um, I should have a script that can do that and this is the script change materials uh, the other problem was for example if you import the elements from the autodesk inventor there because you are creating elements in assembly it can happen that even when you use the same material for different parts uh, inside the Revit you will have the same material but sometimes 100 times and we need to find a way how to present that with material tags uh, as a clear name and I did have a couple of different ideas but at the end uh, I did face some limitations and I want to tell you about them because maybe sometimes you will go on the same way and maybe that will reduce some time for you so first of all let's see this case so when we need to change materials uh, like catch in this case is just to find um, what is the parameter name in which you did store that uh, material information and when you have that parameter name basically then you have just get and set situation so we have simple user interface I did say that you need to type a material name that you want to use and over here I will give you a list of all materials that you have now in your project so for example let's uh, change this ladder and let's change this material for uh, legs that is a metal comb uh, with some wood and the category is furniture we will set values and now we did change all of that uh, and again what is the biggest catch uh, different materials have different uh, material parameters so over here you have uh, different material parameters uh, in both of them uh, you did have that previous material and now it is replaced over here for material or here before was uh, that metal chrome now we did change this material over here and again material name is different over here material is just material so the biggest catch is to find that material parameter name after that it's a set and get parameter value by name situation and it will work i did click i think on three materials even if you want to change one material it will work uh, can change this cherry so again I'm lazy I don't want to type but if we want to change this cherry it will change for all those family types okay uh, now different things so if you have this situation and if we and if we go to material browser yeah you can see over here so so what we have original name and some duplicate values so what was my first idea for uh, this part over here the idea was to merge or to delete and assign this material to those elements but in case when you don't have a parameter that represent the material uh, you will have trouble to assign those new values uh, you can delete this material, you can change the appearance or, or all attributes to this material but in case when you delete this material uh, maybe you will assume that Revit will set as a new material that default material but no it will not use that default material and uh, especially in those cases when uh, you did import um, something which is created from inventor it can happen that you have one element that inside uh, that element have a need to represent two three or ten different materials 
so then you can go to edit family and explode layer by layer but eventually you will have only one material that you could assign to that volume because all of that is one single volume so in those cases uh, when you cannot grab uh, and you don't have a place where that information was uh, written uh, you cannot go with that set parameter value but by name uh, so in that case I did create some script that will basically change those names for those duplicate uh, materials in a way that material tag it's still a clear name you didn't use some uh, extra large uh, area around those names uh, and you would be able to see uh, just the, the names of those materials so all materials that have brackets and some number inside will be uh, change their names will be changed that is not entirely let's say beam uh, story because when we go over here you will see that still we have those duplicate names uh, and where is the original over here so previously we did have this situation and now we have uh, those names uh, again, uh, even this is not so simple inside the Revit because if we go undo, if we call material browser again, if you want manually to change this, rename, and you want to type space over here, Revit have a system that will not allow this, so it will say that you cannot type white uh, characters and, and because it doesn't see that white character, it will say okay I, I already have this name over here you cannot have uh, duplicate names and so on but there is a way to go around and to create basically the materials with the same names and then material tag will read that uh, as the same name but again it's not very beam uh, way so maybe if you know uh, some other way how uh, we can set the material for the elements which will come from the Autodesk inventor. Feel free to uh, leave a comment. This is an in place family that I just did create in order to show you because I cannot show you those uh, families which are sent by the client. Um, and that is it. Um, I will just now show you this change material script in Dynamo because uh, it is very simple. Uh, this script over here without for us going uh, very deep into the Python uh, I cannot explain you in a couple of minutes thank you for watching bye mm -hmm.